All right, good evening and welcome to Friends at Five. I'm Andrea Mock. We'll hear from Darcy in just a moment, but first we got to talk about our kids. Back to school is just around the corner for us and doctors say now they're seeing a spike in pediatric ICU numbers. This is some students will return to class in a matter of just a couple weeks and they will return without masks because it's mandated in our state that you can't mandate a mask. News 19's Ty Wong explains. Again, 15 beds in our PICU, um, and all 15 of them are staying full. Dr. Kaufman Taylor is the senior medical director at Prisma Health Children's Hospital. He says hospitalizations for children impacted by respiratory illnesses have increased, including 11 children who got COVID this past weekend alone. The spike has led to full, if not near capacity in pediatric ICU beds. Just because we've had a surge and there's data out there that hospitals are reaching ICU capacities and our ICU has been full does not mean, as I said, that we're not giving those kids the care they need. Dr. Taylor says when all beds are filled, they move patients to pediatric emergency rooms, resulting in delays in the emergency department. They're still being seen. It's just instead of being in the emergency room, maybe in an hour to be seen, it's taking two and three hours to get to those children who are less sick. The sick is still get seen immediately. Dr. Taylor says Prisma Health has never turned anyone away and will always try to find a way to provide services and says for those younger than 12 who can't be vaccinated, continue to wash your hands and wear face coverings. Kershaw County School District nurse Elizabeth Starling says they're trying to educate staff, parents and students on signs and symptoms to avoid any outbreak for illnesses. This week we spend a lot of time with our faculty and staff educating them on things to look for, signs and symptoms, things that they should stay home for, things that, that they should seek further care for with their physicians. The school district is the first in the Midlands to start the new school year. Superintendent Dr. Shane Robbins says they're going to try to limit the potential for the spread. We're going to try to make arrangements so they can at least walk their child up to the curb and hand them off to their teacher, but we have to minimize the amount of foot traffic inside the buildings. Dr. Robbins says parents don't need to worry about sending their children off to school. We're going to do our very best to safeguard them and at the same time making sure they're getting the highest quality education that they would expect their child to get regardless of the environment. Reporting in Columbia, Ty Wong, News 19 WLTX.